Good morning. Today's day 13 of my 40 day birthday campaign. I'm raising funds and awareness for the vegan movement for animal rescue and animal rights everywhere. So I am looking for donations to be able to make a donation for four of my favorite charities and organizations. So I appreciate everyone's support, everyone's comments, and everyone's donations so far. I know that these organizations will use this donation to rescue more animals, educate more people, and help other folks make that connection with animals that I didn't have growing up. For most of my life, I spent consuming animals. I spent most of my life, like many of us who are not born vegan, I spent most of my life consuming animals. It's awful. I wish that when I was a boy, someone would have taught me how to actually respect animals. How to treat them. How to love them. How to be kind to them. Instead of how to kill them and how to consume them. I grew up in a family where we hunted. I hunted with my dad, with my uncles, with my brother, with my grandpa. It's how I was raised. I thought that's what made you a man. I think one of the things that is a hallmark of being a man is being able to admit when you are wrong. I didn't know any better. So the saying goes, when you know better, do better. Thanks to my wife, I know better and I'm trying to do better. If it wasn't for Becky to call me at work and hang up on me after she told me she was done eating meat, I would not be where I am today. There's no doubt about it. I'm very grateful that she was strong enough to call me and strong enough to tell me that she'd already made her choice. I'm also grateful for Dudley at the General Barn. But I might have got there eventually, but he was the reason that everything clicked for me. And I let go of my past. I asked Dudley for forgiveness, and I promised him I would spend the rest of my life standing up speaking out and advocating for animals. It takes strong people to change decades, generations of my, my upbringing. A quote that I, I read a lot, and it means a lot to me, is something that I, maybe this is something that will help sink in for somebody else. Philip Wallen was giving a speech in 2012, and he says, In their capacity to suffer, a dog is a pig, is a bear, is a boy. A dog is a pig, is a bear, is a boy. Think about that a minute. What he's saying is, there's no difference between a dog, which we all love, a pig, a bear, and a boy. They all have the capacity to suffer. If they all have the capacity to suffer, why should we do something that causes these animals to suffer? I get so upset about my past and where I came from and I know there's things I need to let go from that. And I think that's one of the things that drives me. So I should let go of that anger, but sometimes that's my fuel too. So it's kind of a double-edged sword. But listen, I really appreciate everyone's support. I appreciate the comments, the donations. This has been incredible so far. I appreciate everyone who's following. I hope someone can get something from some of these videos through this campaign to make a difference, to make that connection. Thanks, guys.